Hi guys, so welcome back. If you are new here, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And today I created this look. I hope you guys like it. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna start with this color bar spotlight illuminating lotion in the shade gold. And I'm using it on my high points. Second, I'm gonna start with this full coverage foundation from Colorbar in Amino Skin Radiant Foundation in the shade 003 Benchmark. So I'm gonna push it like this. I'm using this beauty blender from Pack and just dab dab dab. Now I'm gonna use this concealer palette from Makeup Studio. To conceal under my eyes, I'm using this shade. Now I'm using this HD Pressed Powder from Inglot in Jennifer Lopez collection in the shade Nude 1. To set my base, I'm gonna use this. Guys, I'm using this. This is a random palette which I got it from Amazon. My friend suggested me. I got it a year back, and uh, because it has a lot of shades, it's very useful. And trust me, it's not that bad. From the same palette, I'm using this color. I'm leaving the inner corner of my eyes and starting after it with this round brush. Moving on to the other eyes, I'm gonna do the same. I'm leaving my inner corners. Now from the same palette, I'm taking this neon shade, like neon green shade, and I'm gonna fill my inner corners with this. Can you see that color pop? I'm loving it. So now I'm gonna blend both the shades with this blending brush just to make sure there is no harsh line. With softly handed, I'm blending it out a little bit. For under my eyes, and for filling into my waterline, I'm using this Shephora Nude Pencil just to make the eye pop. So I'm gonna do the same on inner corners. I'm using this neon green color. I'm using this purple shade. Moving on to the brows, I'm using this Maybelline Gel Brow Pencil. Just in the brush. Let me show you how I fill my brows personally. So before filling, what I used to do is I take a product in this angular shape brush. It's, you have to underline your brows first. Like you have to go with your shape. Just underlining my brow shape. Nothing else. I am underlining my shape first. I have like a little gap between this and these two points. So what I do is, I'm gonna take a product in the brush and then I'm just gonna fill it in. You will get to know your brow shape and then wherever there is less you can make it even so it's easy to fill i'm gonna fill it in with the pencil just softly handed i'm gonna use this coolie 
and then comb out my brows just to make sure there is no extra product left. Just to make my brows a little more sharp and give it a nice clean shape, I'm gonna use this concealer again. I'm gonna underline it. And after lining my brows, I'm gonna blend it with the same brush. Blend it outwards. And then with this small beauty blender, you can just dab, dab, dab. Just to take off any harsh line. You can see the difference. It's nice, clean, and sharp and it's kind of a little messy so as you can see concealing makes a huge difference when you conceal your brows it's kind, it kind of gives you a sharp nice clean finish so yeah you should do it my eyes are done moving on to the face i'm using this blush from Colorbar in the shade 011 bronzing glaze to my nose a little bit I'm gonna contour my face using this NYX three steps to skull palette in the shade medium now moving on to the highlighter I'm gonna use the same palette NYX three steps to skull palette I'm using this highlight right here Now for my lips, I am using this color bar matte me as I am in the shade 013 lip. And I am mixing it with this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade 70 Amazonian. Finishing off my look, I am using this NYX Matte Setting Spray to set my base and give it a matte finish I forgot using my mascara so I'm using this mascara from Lancome so it has a brush like this now I'm gonna put my lashes on Thank you for watching.